this, you know, it's uh, disappointed in the loss. You know, played against you know a team that I guess physically maybe looked like the you know the Atlantic Ten size and athletic looking team. You know, they're, they're uh, they have that winning championship attitude and culture in their program. I think that kind of shined through with, with them being a little bit more relaxed. And uh, you know, I think that a number of our guys were just so excited to get out, play hard, and represent this university at a high level. And uh, I think they just were, were a little bit tight, a little bit too emotional offensively. And obviously, you know, rebounding, which has been a concern of ours, came to fruition tonight. And yeah, no, just offensive troubles, obviously. Your best players just didn't shoot the ball well. Uh, good shots, or you kind of credit them for bothering him? You know, I think it was a combination of both. I'd say at halftime, we, we felt like we probably took two contested shots. I think the second half, you know, uh, you know, rather than ball share a little bit more, I think I think guys wanted so badly to to help us win the game, you know, that maybe at times the shot selection wasn't what we wanted. Uh, but you know what? That that's you know that's where we're going. You know, those are those are guys that we know are shot makers, and uh, we, we know moving forward that, uh, you know, that, that there's not going to be many games like this for them. Did you feel like said you had to win because of what's your debut? Kind of I feel like every game I've ever played in or coached in, I feel pressure to win. I don't feel any additional pressure being here. I live my life in sport in programs where winning and high expectations came with it. As the game progresses so later on, there's going to be more turnovers, a lot more frenetic play. I've seen North Lock get the better of those exchanges. Um, how do you? Try how you can try to get the team to calm down on the floor, take that second to breathe, and set, set everything. I think any college basketball team in the country that played against some form of pressure today, even though it wasn't, you know, full all out, we had eight turnovers for the game. I think any college basketball program in the country would take that number. It simply, uh, I think, came down, you know, for us in a couple areas, you know, we miss shots, which we need to, you know, we need two of our three guys, and Nick. And and Xavier and Andre, you have to really, two to three of those guys have to make shots on a given night. Uh, you know, we missed some time with free throws, and we allowed too many, uh, you know, putbacks. You know, and we really, you know, we, we were not pleased about the way, you know, the first four minutes of the second half is so significant. Team, good teams take that from five to 11, not from five to down. And, uh, you know, that, that's a lesson that you're gonna learn, you know, uh, moving forward. Questions for Nick? Hey, did you have uh, cramp? Is that what your issue was? Yeah, I got a cramp during the second half. Both of my calves. Have you struggled with that in practice? Or no, this is the first time. time this is the first time. time yeah. This is the first time. Yeah. And, uh, I really don't know why. You know, I tried to trick some fluid to, uh, you know, to feel better. You know, it helped a little bit. But no, I still felt like some pain throughout the whole game. How disappointing is this for you guys? It's definitely disappointing, you know, because we, we every time we play, we want to win, no matter who we play. You know, that's what we prepare for. That's how we practice. You know, uh, the work that the work ethic that we established. You know, that's that's the way we, we want to you know go moving forward. You know, but like uh, everybody gave their effort. You know, I'm pleased with that. You know, uh, guys really 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 tried, and you know I can't. That's all I say. Is there a lot of excitement on campus leading into this? Yeah, as you can tell, there was a lot of people in the stands, you know, a lot of students. Um, you know, I want to thank everybody for coming out to support us. You know, it means a lot to us. And, you know, uh, we're going to try to grow, you know, together as a program in the future. And, like, their support means a lot to us. So we would like to have the same crowd and move forward. How did it compare to last year? Say, around, how did it compare to last year, say, around this time? Uh, I, I really don't feel like I answered that question. Oh. Uh, hey, just tell me, there, there were a couple times the Coast Guard game and in this game where it looked like you gave the ball up and got a better shot because you gave the ball up. Can you talk about 
your shot selection so far and how much more disciplined you've been this year? Uh, I think uh, at the beginning I had like two rush shots, like the first lap uh, that I shot and then the second the three pointer. But other than that, I thought I, I controlled, uh, I took good shots. Uh, you know, some of them I could have passed, but passed to my teammates. But like, I think overall I, I took some good shots. Um, as a team, we took some good shots too, but we just unfortunately wasn't able to, to knock them down, you know. 26 and 9, you put up close numbers that you haven't really put up since your sophomore year. You look like good for you. What do you credit that to? To my teammates, definitely. And to my coaching staff, you know, they put me in position to be successful. Um, teammates pass me the ball. You know, find, as, as we always do, you know, we try to find an open guy. Tonight it was me. The next, the next night it might be Xavier, Trey, you know. Yeah, everything, everything depends on the ball movement, so I credit that to my teammates and my coaching staff. Yeah, how long do you think the, kind of the honeymoon phase this is, is going to last? I don't really know what honeymoon phase is. Um, we have an expectation when you go down on the court that we want to compete hard and win. I mean, I, I don't really know what, what that means. Did you see more good than bad today? The, the one thing I look at that's bad for me is that we, we didn't win the game. With the things I liked, I liked our guy's spirit, I liked our effort. Um, I liked, I liked seeing a guy like Ryan Brooks give second, third, and fourth efforts and be somebody different than he's been since he's been at this university. That's encouraging. But every time we get on the court, we want to win the game. Dan, we haven't seen much of TJ during the preseason. He's been battling an injury. Can you talk about what he gave you tonight? Yeah, you know what, TJ, it's almost unfair to him uh, you know, to even use him for 12 minutes. You know, he, he's had no preseason, had no summer workouts. Hasn't really had a full, you know, all out, all full go the entire practice segment. You know, but he's such a gutsy guy. You know, I'd say that from a skill and rust standpoint, he's probably at 40% offensively, probably at about 70 to 75% defensively. But we obviously, you know, pure guards on our roster right now, we have two. And, um, and depth catch up to you maybe in the second half with guys dropping, chance X, you know, was it going to come back differently? Yeah, well? you know, it's it's uh, it's something that we've trained for. You know, or, or I think it's, you know, from a, we've got to look at our nutrition, <laughs> we've got to look at our nutritional approach to today um, because I, I'm used to having my better players you know, our key guys be able to give us 38 minutes of relentlessness. Um, you know, so we've got to do a better job during the day of hydrating our guys, making sure they're eating the right things so that we, we can avoid those types of issues. Because quite honestly, we, we practice harder and longer than that game was just played. And, uh, you yeah, know, but we, I think that's something that, you know, that, that, that we'll fix. I know uh, you picked up two fouls real quick, but only six minutes for Jordan tonight. No word on that. You know what, you uh, part of coming into a, a, a real college basketball program that has expectations is you've got to learn, uh, you know, you, you've got to learn what, how important practice is, you know, how important it is, um, you know, to be prepared to improve every day, to understand the style and the system of offensive and defensive basketball. Uh, you know, we're, we're you know, we, we play chess, not checkers. And you have to understand what we're doing on both ends of the court. And uh, Jordan's a talented kid. Jordan is going to become a major, major player in this program down the road. Uh, we're just right now doing things that are going to benefit him in the long term his career, in his career and, and make him the player that he can be, which is an all-conference guy, which is what we believe. Last one for Coach Renee. You had Jordan and, and Mike Amon sitting on either side of your brother on the bench. Is that a sign scene? That was a side seating. That's tutoring and coaching. You know, we uh, you know, every game is a learning experience for us. That's not a cop out. You know, we, we we you know this is a killer. You know, it's it's a killer to lose any game, a home opener. You know, losing is is uh, you know it's, it's 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 a horrible feeling. It's personal and it's something we've got to own until our next opportunity to get out on the court on Monday. Thank you.
Thanks, Cody. Thanks, Nick.